Hi there guys, it's Authentic here. Today I'm going to be showing you my second key of Nightmare Hydra, show you what champions I run and what damage I did. So let's get into it. So as you can see, this is the team I ran. I ran Lady Kimi in lead, Husk for enemy max HP and Royal Guard. We had Ursula for the revive and decrease attack, decrease defense and weaken from Lydia and the cleanse to get rid of the cleanse that Torment puts on us and increases our turn meter. We don't have a block buff champion. We're only gonna use a block buffs single target from Lydia to land it on Wrath and then take control of the fight from there. So let's see how we started this whole fight off. Um, we do have a lot of turn meter fill. Uh, we do just keep filling our turn meters and keep taking turns. We have increased accuracy and increased uh, speed from our Kimi. So we just go and go ahead and take two turns before Hydra even gets a turn. So my lady is going to do decrease defense and weaken, and then she's going to cycle back around again and do the block buffs on the uh, height, uh, the force head. Uh, sorry, the wrath head. Um, so once we get the block buffs on the wrath head, that means that he won't get uh, the poison cloud on him. So we'll be able to get as much damage as we can on him. So we do the decrease defense. Uh, and weaken we don't actually land the decreased defense on torment but that's okay we don't want to do too much damage to him anyway so just keep going taking turns and you'll see husk now do his enemy max hp when he gets a turn so the initial burst is around about 3 million 3.2 million and then it sort of slows down once they put the cloud on themselves now if i did have better uh, block buff champions i would probably run those and not worry too much about um just single target block buffs but because i don't really have the greatest block buff champions uh, i have umbro and ugo but i find i've already used my umbro and i find ugo slightly inconsistent so we just want to go ahead and land lydia's a2 onto the wrath so here it's going to be her So yes, yeah, so now we land the block buffs on Wrath and then we just let them to the cloud. So now they have the cloud up, we're just going to basically start doing damage, uh, a one Head of Torment and then aoe Enemy Max HP damage onto all the heads. So the damage is a little bit slow, we do run into a few issues where we get our buffs stolen because it was a 50-50 between two champions. We got the revive from Ursula so our champions are back again. Uh, our Inquisitor has died, so the mark has now gone to Royal Guard, but we will be able to get Inquisitor back too. And there it is with Ursula. So we're 12 million, 8, oh sorry, we're 8 million at 21 turns. So we're just going to keep on pushing. 9 million, 23 turns. Uh, they've got another cloud up, which is fine. As long as we stop this guy from getting buffs. Uh, we're okay with that if this guy gets the cloud we would would like to stop him from getting cloud too but you know sometimes you can't just stop all of them from getting the cloud but it's fine we're just doing just adding damage so you can see with one head we're going to be coming up to around about 10 million damage before this head dies so our head uh, our torment head is about to die and mischief has seems to be has already eaten our royal guard so we have the second enemy max hp to break out our royal guard so we have one it uh, max HP come out and then we got the the nice RNG with the decreased cooldown so our husk is going to do another enemy max HP hit there are buffs being spread which is unfortunate when you do lose a uh, head of torment you do become slightly susceptible because your turn meter control isn't as high so we're gonna try to get torment back again we didn't actually get torment we got suffering so suffering came out and now my only idea is if I can kill this head and get uh, torment back hopefully we can get back on track so i just keep pushing damage uh, we managed to decapitate this head uh, we're going to see if we get torment back in this position or not so let's just see if we have the right head so there's the respawn and we actually do get torment back we get torment back which is pretty good for us we're on 13 million i'm thinking to myself maybe we can salvage this even though we have lost a lot of control they've gotten a lot of buffs uh, the fight does look a little bit tough but I'm thinking to myself you know maybe we can make a key out of this yet so fast forward we do lose a few champions uh, they start doing some damage to us they have increased attack and the rest 
So we start losing some ch champions, but I'm thinking at this point, I probably want to persist with his key and keep going. As you can see, my revivers now been taken by Mischief, which is another problem. It seems to be that Mischief at my champion two times. Uh, so it's a little bit unlucky that we kept on losing our champion to Mischief because he's the hardest to get our champion back from. But we do actually manage to get Ursula back out. And I'm thinking maybe I can take control of this fight, but it's unfortunate what happens to my... I believe it's my Inquisitor that dies here. This is the most unfortunate thing that happens. As you can see, we actually get crit on Inquisitor. Our Inquisitor just takes a crit uh, to the face and he doesn't survive. We don't have decrease attack, so it's the only champion that gets crit. Everybody else just gets normal hit, but it's just Inquisitor who gets the crit, which is really unfortunate because if it was a non-crit, he probably would have survived. If we had decrease attack, he probably would have survived too, but at that point, it looks like the key is just going to end. Um, at this point, I'm thinking to myself, I can't get back around to revive him. And it's slowly just from there on out. We do manage to get the revive, but then our reviver dies. And it's pretty much curtains from here on out. So we end on 18.13 million. So that's the key uh, with this team. Um, we Kimmy did some damage. I can't see because my head's in the way. I mean, not just me, but... The live stream heads in the way too so i can't actually see how much Kimi did but has did run about um 8 million ursula just the debuff damage and we got royal guard doing 5.5 million we have lydia doing 2 million and inquisitor doing a million so a, a fair amount of damage i would say i wouldn't say i'm too disappointed with this obviously obviously if i retried the key over and over again i probably could have done 24 million ish or maybe 22 to 24 million if the RNG was proper and we kept on running it over and over again. But I didn't really care too much about rerunning it over and over again. So let me just show you the stats that I ran on my champions. So like I said, we were running decrease accuracy and increase accuracy and decrease speed and increase speed from Kimmy, making our stat requirement much lower uh, and giving us such an easier time to gear our champions. So our Lydia was in 258 speed 70k hp 300 resistance which was enough and 250 accuracy which was enough with all of those buffs and debuffs we also had kimmy with speed hp and accuracy with 234 accuracy we had ursula with some similar, similar sort of stats 60k 3k 265 speed 400 nearly 400 resistance and 250 accuracy and then we had inquisitor uh, the other inquisitor this inquisitor yeah so this guy we had 255 speed and 51k hp 225 crit damage with no debuff stats because we didn't really care for it much and then the two enemy max hp champions we were using one was royal guard he was 245 speed 50k hp 246 crit damage and husk was slightly slower because we didn't have a good refresh piece on him 65k hp 213 speed and 231 crit damage so i do personally feel like the non-duchess team performed better maybe i didn't pilot the first team as well as i probably could have but hopefully next week we'll try to do a two key this is going to be a three key for this rotation but hopefully next time we can get it down to a two key but thank you so much for checking out the video make sure you let me know what you think of the video down in the comments leave a like and sub and i'll catch you guys in the next upload peace